Hey, YouTube, what's happening? Well, as you can see, I'm in my shop, garage, hideout, man cave, shithole, not a car hole, shithole, because it's a mess. Well, I just realized something. I need these and I got my camera on it. How about that? I was, uh, as you know, my falcon making days. I found out the O-ring and everything I needed. Never got around to making another one. I'll tell you one thing right now which almost all of you probably know. I'm realizing and learning about making pipes. I don't have the patience for it. it takes a lot of patience. Smoking some magic black woman, black magic woman, I think that's what I said, sweet magic woman, black magic woman, I think, in my Willard, the old Dr. Graybo shot pipe, but I, uh, As you know, I ended up acquiring some bowls for my Falcon from Keith, but I had a, 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 a Viking, Grey Bowl Viking, which is one of these. Screw on bowl. The bowls on these are flat instead of rounded, so they're a little easier to make. So I went, you know what? I got a Viking. This was garbage, okay? And I used the moisture filters from the Falcon. Finish was off this. I put some metal paint on here on the outside. Cleaned it up. The bit was chewed all the way through and smashed. So I stuck a nail or something in it. Opened it up and then put a bit on it. Because it was... But it was a... Uh, plastic bit or something it just tasted like shit when you were smoking it you could taste the plastic it was a very soft plastic well I tried to take I wanted to replace it so what I done is I had another bit off a junk pipe a short one the tenon fit right in there but it was too long so I cut it short got it in there Okay, filed the top down, filed the bottom down. Okay, now I got this bit now. It's not great. It's not, you know, oval like this, but you know what? It don't leak. Pipe cleaner runs through it. It's a little bit longer, so it's perfect. So, I had... I think one or two bowls. One Keith gave me again that he had. I don't know if he has a Viking that he smokes. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna try to make one. Got the micrometer. A lot of you that work with metal and woods know what this is. I got this diameter, okay? Did that here, okay? Got that diameter on there, okay? Same thickness as it is here, okay? Same thickness. And this is what I made, okay? Put 
Put it on the lathe. Okay. It was when I showed you on one of my earlier videos. I showed you a old lathe out in the woods where I was working. Well, they had a tree and the roots had all popped out of the ground. Someone had cut a chunk off of it already and it had nice burl, I guess. And I don't know what, I think it was oak or walnut or walnut, I think. Anyway, this is what this was okay so block just like this I would have recorded it but I didn't have my my uh, com my uh, camera was in the car but so I turned this out okay when I got this the exact I mean, I figured I'll get an o-ring you know Instead, I went, you know, I'm going to try something. I spit on it. Gross, huh? Spit on it. Basically got it wet. And I put it on here like this. And you guys know where I'm going with this, huh? I started doing this. Starting grabbing the teeth and made sure it was straight. Okay? Did this. Back and forth. Back and forth. Okay? Just like that. Okay? Well... Guess what? I got the teeth grooved in it. Okay? Airtight. Okay? So now... Maybe a bowl for this. Okay? You guys are going, man, that's kick ass, huh? Proud of me, ain't you? Not so fast. Not so fast. Halfway through, after I shaped the ball, got it around, flipped it around, I get a peg, put that in my chuck, then I sand it, and then I cut the other end off that was in the, the lathe. Well, in doing so, after I cut the first shape, See that? Off center. Sticking out here. Smooth over here. It's smooth all the way around. This half or quarter is hanging out over the edge. Sucks. But you know what? Live and learn. I want to say it was like this the whole way. And then I done something. I think it was when I put it back in the lathe to cut off the end that, that I had left to round off the end that was in the chuck originally. That's a drag. It's not perfect. And then once I noticed that, I gave up. Gave up on the sanding. Gave up on the real detail. You can see here where I should have sanded more. You know, it was like this. And when I noticed that, I went, you know what? Bullshit. But you know what? It is smokable. The bowl's identical, so I do got, I do got it down on that. It's just, I don't know how it went off center, you know, and you could see it too. I don't know how it got there, but it got there, but. It's identical. Not quite as big as this one. 
but this one, these were made in Mexico, and this is the same exact size that I got. This one, I think, is original gray bubble with a little bit bigger hole in it, but I like it a little bit smaller. But anyway, now that I bored you with all that, uh, another, another, the thing is with this, when, when I did the teeth this way, my goal was to um, put an o-ring on it, but when I was able to get threads on it, which gave me an idea for the falcon bowl too, so, um, it's airtight. So now I kind of got a Viking without the plastic taste because I put a different bit on it. It's kind of a, I don't want to say junk pipe, it's a pipe that I don't care about that I fixed. It works and smokes great. And it's something that I've done. So I'm cool with it. Now I do have a new one of these with four new bowls and I have. Falcon new with bowls with it that are put away in my collection. So You know, like I said, I've bought junk ones of these and just said let me see what I could do with them two three four five bucks seven bucks ten bucks, you know, so I Finally got to a point where I, I uh, Got this Viking gray bow Viking pipe working and they're, they're they're good. They're decent. So anyway from this to this. Thanks for, uh, I think, Sayers Pipes. Uh, he told me uh, wax the end of that cherry block that I got. Uh, drinking iced tea. Uh, and it's good, too. But, uh, if you were here, I'd give you some. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Nothing, to, nothing else to talk about. Uh, I will, uh, I gotta work on some issues. I gotta figure out how to keep it centered. How to just do this stuff. I mean, it, I, I think, I even ate before I came out here, so I'd have a little more patience. It's like, I don't got the patience to keep with it. it, you know. If it was all going well, once I've seen the screw up, I had no interest in it. I just wanted to quit. I just want to shut the lights off and get out of here. And I can't be like that, so. I just think I need to learn how to, learn how to do some of these things. It's little knickknack stuff. But, uh, it'll happen. It'll happen. Um, yep. So that's it. That's all I got. Um, Till next time. See you on the tube. Bye now.